Today I'm going to show you how to deploy a new transporter on Nakivo Backup and Replication for VMware vSphere infrastructure. When you install Nakivo Backup and Replication on ARM-based processors, you may need to deploy an additional transporter to work with VMware vCenters and ESXi hosts. To deploy a new transporter, log into the dashboard, click Settings, and then click on the Transporters tab. If the host you choose for deploying the transporter is licensed by VMware, select Deploy New Transporter. If you decide to deploy the transporter on an unlicensed host or want to manually add a transporter that is installed as a service, select Add Existing Transporter and choose Installed Service. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a new transporter as a VMware appliance using the solution interface. Click Deploy New Transporter and select VMware vSphere Appliance from the drop-down menu. In the dialog that opens, you should define the parameters of the transporter. Enter the transporter name. Select a target host from the drop-down menu. Choose a target data store and, finally, a virtual network to attach your transporter to. You can access the advanced options for your transporter by clicking More Options. Let's take a closer look at each of these options. In the Networking section, choose either Automatic Setup or Manual Setup for IP configuration. If you decide to configure IP manually, you should enter an IP address for the transporter, a subnet mask, and the default gateway. For DNS configuration, you can choose either Automatic Setup DHCP, or Manual Setup. If you decide to configure DNS manually, enter a primary DNS server IP address, a secondary DNS server IP address, a communication port for your transporter, and finally, a port range that your transporter will use for actual data transfer. In the Settings section, Add the number of tasks you want the transporter to process at the same time. You can select Additional Load for Recovery Jobs to use the transporter's resources exclusively for recovery jobs. Setting Maximum Transport Load enables you to run recovery jobs concurrently with other jobs without waiting for them to complete. And if needed, enable Debug Level Logging for this transporter. When all of the options are set, click Deploy to confirm deploying the transporter. You have successfully deployed a new transporter as a VMware appliance. Thanks for watching.